What's good, y'all? This is Trey with Vertical Jump Prom coming to you with a video on strength training for young ballers. This is for my young ballers ages 12 to 15. Y'all, y'all probably, um, you know, thinking about or looking into strength training. You're probably not too sure what you should be doing, if you should be doing strength training. And uh, I'm going to try to clear that up a little bit for you. So, you know, first of all, strength training is beneficial and it is something you should be thinking about. All right, it's going to improve your physical strength and athletic ability, improve your performance on a basketball court, improve your self-confidence, reduce the risk of injury, and develop a habit of self-discipline. All right, I think all these things are pretty much self-explanatory. I'm pretty sure you can understand why you know why and how these things are beneficial to your game all right um so what i recommend like i'm I'm gonna focus more on what you should be doing all right so what i recommend is you start with body weight training all right this is um so you don't need to be focusing on getting in the gym getting a gym membership or anything like that um you know, unless you're on a basketball team and your coach is actually, you know, bringing bringing the team in the gym and doing training. But on your own, I would start off with some body weight training. All right, six days a week, you want to go into a hundred push-ups, a hundred squats, and a hundred sit-ups every day for six days a week. Take that Sunday off. And body weight training. The good thing about body weight training is you you can do this every day. All right, so you can stay active every day, and um. What you want to do is you want to work your way up to 100 in each category. You don't start off doing 100 in each category. You work your way up. All right. So even if you start off doing 20 push-ups a day, um, you know, that's that's all right. But you want to add at least one more rep to what you did the day before. So you need, need to record what you did each day. So if today I did 20 push-ups, tomorrow I should be doing 21. If today I did... 50 squats tomorrow i should be doing at least 51 squats today i did 70 sit-ups tomorrow i need to be doing at least 71 sit-ups so you want to improve every day until you reach the goal of 100 push-ups 100 squats 100 sit-ups um you also i recommend you invest in a pull-up bar all right this is to work on your upper body strength and the the, the profit iron gym workout bar that's what i have and, and it allows you to do different variations of push-ups it allows you to do the pull-ups it allows you to um do some ab training and um it also allows you to do dips all right so it's it's a good tool if you if you um they sell it at walmart or um, i'm not sure where exactly you're, where exactly you're located but i'm sure you can find a some type of pull-up bar that you can buy from the store and just hang on your door frame if not just do the body weight exercises all right if you decide to get in the gym and do some weight training, you know, you don't want to be in there any more than three days a week. I don't recommend you go there alone. I recommend you go there with somebody who is experienced in weight training. Um, when you get into your weight training, you want to push yourself past discomfort, but you don't want to push yourself past pain. You need to figure out what's the difference between the two. That's why I say I don't want you to go to, you know, in the gym by yourself. You know, you want to have somebody there that can help you out, spot you. All right, don't train the same muscle groups two days in a row unless you're experienced and you know what you're doing. And uh, make sure you have a workout plan or idea of what you're going to do before you get there. You don't want to just show up in the gym. Um, I guess you can do that. You know what I'm saying? I guess it works for some people, but I recommend you know exactly what you're going to do before you go in the gym. All right, so here's some tips, strength training tips. You don't need to get in the gym if you can't lift your own body weight. I said that earlier. Results take time. Don't give up if you don't see results right away. Do your research. Find out what exercises you should be doing to get whatever result you're looking for. And talk to people that have the results that you want to achieve. All right. So, um, you know, that's the tips for uh, strength training for my young ballers. Um, click the link in the description below or go to verticaljumpprime.com to get your free ebook. It'll show you how to add instant inches to your vert and you'll also get a simple vertical jump exercise routine that you can start doing right now. And don't forget to uh don't forget to subscribe. I'm gonna keep the videos coming and um you know I have a playlist um if you're into vertical jump training, basketball tips, ball handling, shooting, whatever it is, I have you covered on my channel. Alright, peace.